We're back with our series Food for Thought and a look at a part of Asian culture that's on the rise here in the U.S. Night markets are all about fun, friends, and most importantly, food. And our friend Jacob Soveroff has a look at one of the biggest ones. Good morning. What's up, you guys? This is so cool. This is going on, uh, going on out in L.A. Everybody's talking about it out at home. The numbers tell the story of the 626 night market. It started back in L.A., 60 vendors in 2012. It's now grown to 350 vendors, 30,000 seasonal visitors each night wow. at its California venues. There are other cities, too, New York, Chicago, Philly, Portland. They all host these celebrations of Asian food and culture. Take a look. Bingo! People love food, so food is such a unifier of all cultures and all people. The 626 Night Market in Los Angeles is a melting pot of Asian dishes. We have our barbecue squid. Um, we make a pork belly bun, which is a Taiwanese street food. General Manager Patricia Wong says the 626 Night Market has been a runaway success since it started in 2012. In Asia, the night markets are a really big part of the nightlife. With family, with friends, you shop, eat, shop, eat. Welcome, enjoy. And now everyone wants to join the party. Every year it was just like, wow, we just hit 50,000 people. Wow, we just hit 60, we just hit 100,000 people. And so the growth is pretty organic. In Los Angeles, the event takes up an entire racetrack. Other markets in New York, Portland, Philadelphia, and Chicago also modeled their events after the famous night markets in Taiwan. I'm Taiwanese, so this is kind of like uh, very nostalgic for me. David Pan's boba full tent turns out hundreds of cups of boba tea each night. Many vendors, like artisan noodle chef Robert Lee, whose bang bang noodles often have the longest lines, make their living as full-time pop-ups. So I started Bang Bang Noodles as a street food um, experience. So I need to bang it so it kind of gives me a better uh, textured noodle. I wanted to figure out some kind of food that would bring community together. Social media put the markets on the map and continues to be a huge driver of crowds. It's going to be my first time trying Wagyu B, so I thought I'd post about it. Over time, we started to have more of Instagrammable foods, of creative foods, and that was uh, a trend that was happening. Social media can make or break a vendor when they first debut at the night market. Anthony and Larissa use garlic bread. Number 16! It is a recipe Anthony tried in Taiwan. Your order is ready! And it's one of the first things you smell at the market. They made a TikTok for us on our very first weekends. Um, we didn't really expect much out of it, but it blew up instantly. <laughs> Some vendors use the event as a test market for fusion foods, like ramen burgers, poke nachos, shrimp sliders, and mochi malasadas. So it's going to be uh, the traditional Chinese buns. So instead, the insides are going to be pizza filling. And for new ideas, like bauza. We have like barbecue chicken, pepperoni, margarita, Italian sausage, and you can either get it the traditionally steamed version, or we actually deep fry them. Number 30, 31, 35, 35. And other vendors like Esther Kang, whose entire family brings the Lucky Ball Korean barbecue to the market, stick to the tried and true recipes from their grandmas. My grandmother was a big um, cook in Korea. Like she loved cooking for the whole neighborhood. All our items here are uh, homemade recipes. Patricia says the markets have become a post-pandemic staple of community and a buffer against recent upticks of anti-Asian crime and sentiment. No matter what is happening politically, we will still celebrate our culture, celebrate our food, and for all of us to get together and still celebrate life. I don't know about you, but my mouth is watering. Bang, bang noodles, Bang, baby. bang noodles. Uh, most of the night markets are going to wrap up all of their events this oh. fall in the crowds. They showed up last at the last 66 night market of the summer, despite, by the way, it was so hot. Al knows. Oh, yeah. Dylan yes. knows. The crippling Very heat. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing so place. Oh, I, so would, I would love oh. some samples. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. Next time, bring something bring back. Let's go to the New York yeah. one. Exactly. Okay. We could hit that up. Jacob, thank you. Okay, you guys.